The way I connect with kids is by interacting with them, by getting on their level. See, most kids at an elementary level, they'll sit on the floor during my presentation. So what I do, I sit on the floor too. I'll look at them and I'll give them permission to have dreams. I'll give them permission to believe in themselves. My own daughter, who's three years old now, when she was about one and a half, I sat her on the floor in our basement of our house and I sang one of my songs to her. She grabbed the microphone. She was singing along with me. No fancy label, no limousine. Come on now. Boys and girls, this is where the magic is. No magic kingdom, no king or queen. This is it. You're it. All these wonderful people, your teachers, they want to help you every day. But it's up to you to say, you know what, I take responsibility. Couldn't see, she couldn't hear. She was able to write best-selling books. She was able to change the world. Does anyone know where it started for Helen Keller? Where do you think it all began for Helen Keller? Where? She had all these people that wanted to help her. She had teachers, she had parents. But if Helen Keller didn't want the help, she could have stayed in a corner for the rest of her life, right? But she decided that she didn't want to just stay in the corner. She took responsibility for who? She took responsibility for her, herself. Everyone point to yourself. See, you got it. No superstar, no fancy dress can give you any, any happy. Bring it down, bring it down. No magic kingdom, no king. Who wants to sing, anybody? No fancy label, no limousine. No Who wants it over here? Anybody? Here we go. What makes me different is the ability to come into your school and if you're looking for someone to to truly engage your students. I mean, anyone can come and, and, and get them excited. But here's the deal. When they leave, they're leaving with quality messages. Uh, messages about character. Uh, messages about anti-bullying. Messages of self-esteem. That's what my life is all about. I want to help children to, to build their self-confidence and their self-worth. And that's what it's all about. And why not do it in a fun and entertaining way? What's your name? Lauren. Lauren, who's your personal hero? My father and my mom. Why? Because they're always there for me, and like when I get hurt or something at home, they always like, like they always take care of me. Like when I'm sick or something, they give me medicine or anything, like a hot bowl of chicken noodle soup. Hot bowl of chicken noodle soup. Who likes hot bowls of chicken noodle soup? And who's your personal hero? My son Jack. A lot of Jacks. Jack is a popular, name. popular name here in Hinsdale. Why? Why is Jack your hero? Jack has special needs. Doesn't even realize it. He just, he, he's a great kid. Yeah. Give Jack a nice round of applause. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Thank Everybody you. Everybody have some fun. All right. Give me one word that you learned here today. Give me one word. Give me one word. Responsibility. Responsibility. Give me a word. Give me a word. Inspire. Inspire. I love it. We have responsibility. Caring. Caring. We need another word. Kindness. Kindness. Giving. Giving. Give me a word. Oh yeah, put your hands up like this, boys and girls. Put them up nice and high. Oh yeah. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, lived a special kind of kid. His name was Little Sid. His eyes could see beyond the treasures of the land. Grateful for what he had, but prefer to give a hand. Everybody sing! No magic kingdom, no king or queen. Everybody! No fancy label, no limousine, you got it. No superstar, no fancy dress can give you any, any happiness. Oh yeah! He struggled to try to be like all his friends. To put your hands together. Come on, everybody. Let me see some smiles on your faces. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, come on. Hey. Oh yeah! I see the boss. You got it, you got it. One time, come on.